fellow cloud enthusiasts and DevOps engineers. Get ready for the cloud showdown of the century. In this corner, we have AWS with over 200 services and enough global infrastructure to make Elon Musk jealous. In the other corner, we have Azure with a comprehensive suite of cloud computing solutions and hybrid capabilities that make it the Chuck Norris of the cloud world. And before we start this showdown, don't forget to give us a high five. And our high five is a subscribe button. So give us a high five. All right, let's go to round number one in which we are going to talk about performance and scalability. Now, AWS is kicking things off here with its AC2 instances, which are faster than a caffeinated cheetah on steroids. Azure counters with its own high performance VMs that can scale up to more CPUs that you can shake a stick at. The winner of this round, it's too close to call like a tie between two overly competitive siblings. Round number two, storage and data management. Now let's talk about storage and data management. Now AWS comes up swinging with its S3 storage service, which has more capacity than a black hole. Azure is responding with its own blob storage and data lake storage service, which are like a pair of storage socks that match perfectly. But wait, Azure pulls out its secret weapon that is Cosmos DB, the globally distributed multi-model database service that's faster than a cheetah on steroids. The winner of this round, Azure, because who doesn't love a database that sounds like it's somewhere from the outer space? Just kidding. Cosmos DB offers an impressive set of capabilities, making it a strong contender in the world of cloud storage and data management. Round three, machine learning and AI. Finally, it's time for machine learning and AI. AWS showcases its Amazon SageMaker, which is like having your own personal data scientist on speed dial. Azure counters with its own machine learning service, which is like having a team of data scientists at your back and call. But hold on. Azure isn't done yet. It unleashes its cognitive service, which are like a Swiss army knife of AI with pre-built APIs for NLP, computer vision, and speech recognition. The winner of this round, Azure, because let's face it, who doesn't want a Swiss army knife of AI? Round four, blockchain services. Now let's see how AWS and Azure stack up in the world of blockchain. Now AWS offers Amazon managed blockchain which allows user to create and manage scalable blockchain networks using popular blockchain frameworks like Ethereum and Hyperledger Fabric. With AWS blockchain service, user can set up a blockchain network in few clicks, making it easy for developer to focus on building decentralized applications or it is widely named as dApps. Azure, on the other hand, offers Azure blockchain service, which allows user to build and deploy blockchain applications with ease. Now, Azure's blockchain service support a wide range of blockchain protocols and provide end-to-end -end security for every transaction on the network. Additionally, Azure offers integration with popular developer tools like Visual Studio Code and making it easy for developers to build and deploy dApps on the blockchain. So who wins the round? It's a close one. But let's say in the world of blockchain, both AWS and Azure are like two blocks on the same chain, interconnected and working together to build a better future. Round five, Web3 and decentralized applications. Now Web3, the decentralized application is a rapidly growing area of technology. And both AWS and Azure have offerings in this space. Now, AWS offers Amazon Quantum Ledger Database that is QLDB, which is fully managed ledger database that provides a transparent, immutable, and cryptographically verifiable transaction log. Now, QLDB can be used to build decentralized application that requires higher throughput and low latency. Azure, on the other hand, offers Blockchain Workbench, which is a platform for building and deploying blockchain-based applications quickly and easily. With Azure Blockchain Workbench, developer can focus on building front-end dApps while the back-end is taken care of by the blockchain infrastructure. When it comes to Web3 and dApps, both AWS and Azure have their strengths. But let's just say that building decentralized application is like building a Lego castle. You need the right pieces in the right place to make it all work. 
and both AWS and Azure have plenty of pieces to offer to make your Web3 dreams a reality. Well, there you have it folks, a five round cloud showdown between AWS and Azure. Both platforms offer a wide range of service and features, but each has its strength and weakness in different areas. Whether you are building high performance apps or storing massive amount of data, exploring the world of blockchain or diving into the decentralized web, there is a cloud platform out there for you. So choose wisely and get ready to build amazing things on cloud. And remember, in the end, it's not about which platform is better. It's about having fun and building cool stuff. If you agree with me, let me know in comment section that what are the more things that you want me to talk about. But that's it for this video. I'll see you again, folks, with another video.